Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So I've got a much in demand <laughs> um, 48 volt 8.0, 15,000 watt. This thing is brand new. It's never been used. I'm inspecting it for a customer who purchased it and I want to make sure that it's working perfectly for them. So one of the questions I got is how much do these things use when they're sitting here in standby? with the fans on or off. So I can tell you, I typically run, uh, when I have these on the bench, I typically run them at around 50 volts. So I can tell you from experience that um, they actually use about 1.7 amps at 50 volts, so a little over 50 volts. That's without the fans on, that's per hour. Turning the fans on should add about a half an amp to that. Maybe a little more, yeah. A little more than a half an amp. So that's what you're looking at for your standby when the inverter is sitting here not doing anything. That's your standby loss. Um, so at 48 volts, that's what you're looking at. Um, so there you have it. Hopefully that helps answer your questions. Amperage is, of course, going to be based on uh, voltage. So the higher the volts, the lower the amps in theory. These particular inverters, though, regulate the voltage as best as they can. The new 8.0s, that is, they really try to regulate the voltage. So I've seen standby losses as high as 4 amps or as low as about an amp, depending on where the voltage just happens to be on these things. It, it varies wildly, but typically you shouldn't be looking at any more than 2 to 3 amps per hour. And you think about it when you've got... You know, uh, a 300 watt solar array and 48 volts, you know, that kind of amperage, uh, you know, you're using a good chunk of your solar array just to have the inverter running. But then at the same time, this inverter here, and you know, I get people who complain about this, but this inverter here is built specifically for whole home usage. It is not meant to be some super efficient little itty bitty unit this is a whole house inverter that's what it's designed for so if you are running your entire house and you have just one or two solar panels on your roof then you need to seriously take a look at your uh your setup to try to figure out how you can uh, better match if you want to run your entire house you're going to need a lot more than a couple panels there is going to be standby loss with everything that you buy. Any inverter out there, whether it's from PowerJack, it doesn't matter, is going to have um, you know a standby loss. That's a consumption per hour that the inverter will use even when it's not under load. They call it a no-load draw. And if you do what I do where you have the fans on 24-7, then you're going to be drawing extra. Now, I draw uh, much more. My fans use about an amp and a half because they're high-speed fans. And I've accepted that and considered that to be acceptable losses um, just because I want to make sure my equipment functions fine. That's me. You might feel differently about it. But if you're going to buy something that is this big, you shouldn't be running one battery and one solar panel and assume that it's going to run the entire town. It's I've seen people assume this. I've heard it. So... Buy an inverter that suits your needs. And the larger inverters you get, the more batteries and more solar panels you should get. Don't buy this big monster and hook it up to some little itty bitty battery like that and then wonder why the thing blows up on you or won't work. So anyway, a little advice there for you. But yeah, there's your standby loss. You know, 1.7 amps right there without the fans on. Not bad. Um... So, yeah, it is what it is. So, anyway, if you have any other questions, of course, you can always let me know. And if you are interested in inverters that you can buy directly from me that I have personally inspected, they've been on this bench, they've been looked at, they've been tested, and they are ready to go. Not only do I have open box units, but I also have return units, and I also have brand new power tank units up there. Uh, head to that genitreesolar.com website. If you ship, I, or excuse me, if you purchase, I will ship the same day if UPS hasn't come to my location yet. And I'm pretty good about getting out the, um, the inverters for you. So if you have any questions, of course, let me know and take care.